One of the simple things we can all do, one thing that will make the biggest difference is to wear a mask. I know some of you are both tired of hearing about masks as well as tired about, of wearing them. Masks can be cumbersome, they can be inconvenient. And I also know that many of you still have questions about masks. You may be unsure if they work, what kind is best, and whether two masks are better than one. We've learned a lot about masks over the past year. Today, I wanna to share with you some new science that is emerging about masks and what we know now that we didn't know when the pandemic started. The science is clear. Everyone needs to be wearing a mask when they are in public or when they are in their own home, but with people who do not live in their household. This is especially true with our ongoing concern about new variants spreading in the United States. Masks offer two kinds of protection. When I wear a mask, it protects you and it protects me. But to get the most protection possible, we all have to wear them. Research has demonstrated that COVID-19 infections and deaths have decreased when policies that require everyone to wear a mask have been implemented. So with cases, hospitalizations, and deaths still very high, now is not the time to roll back mask requirements. I have also seen very many well-meaning people wearing masks that do not fit well or fit incorrectly. In fact, recent survey data from P uh, Porter Navalli found that among adults who reported wearing masks in the past week, half said they wore their masks incorrectly in public. New data released from CDC today underscore the, imp the importance of wearing a mask correctly and making sure it fits closely and snugly over your nose and mouth. In this new study, researchers used experiments in the laboratory, not the real world, to assess how different strategies to improve the fit of masks impacts a mask's ability to block aerosolized particles emitted during a simulated cough, as well as to reduce exposure to aerosol particles emitted during simulated breathing. The size of the aerosol particles in the experiment were designed to mimic the respiratory droplet particles most important for person-to-person -person transmission of SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. Specifically, the experiments compared the performance of no mask, a single cloth face mask, and a single medical procedure mask with two approaches to improve the mask fit of the surgical mask wearing a cloth mask over the procedure mask and nodding and tucking the ear loops of the medical procedure mask. In the study, wearing any type of mask performed significantly better than not wearing a mask. And well-fitting masks provided the greatest performance both at blocking emitted aerosols and exposure of aerosols to the receiver. In the breathing experiment, Having both the source and the receiver wear masks modified to fit better reduced the receiver's exposure by more than 95% compared to no mask at all. These experimental data reinforce CDC's prior guidance that everyone two years of age or older should wear a mask when in public and around others in the home, in the home not living with you. We continue to recommend that masks should have two or more layers, completely cover your nose and mouth, and fit snugly against your nose and the sides of your face. I wanna be clear that these new scientific data released today do not change the specific recommendations about who should wear a mask or when they should wear one, but they do provide new information on why wearing a well-fitting mask is so important to protect you and others. Based on this new information, the CDC is updating the mask information for the public on the CDC website to provide new options on how to improve mask fit. This includes wearing a mask with a moldable nose wire, nodding the ear loops on your mask, or wearing a cloth mask over a procedure or disposable mask. There are also new options available to consumers called mask fitters small reusable devices that cinch a cloth or medical mask and that can create a tighter fit against the face and thus improve mask performance. The bottom line is this, masks work and they work best when they have a good fit and are worn correctly.